Welcome to the Mali. And Shali. So it's our show where we take all things difficult and some not so much and unpack it and make it simple. And um, also gives us the opportunity to show our products, uh, make it a little bit fun, get you, give you an idea of where to apply it, where not to apply it, will it work in your hair, will it not? So um, thank you so much for everybody tuning in and uh, we're excited about the show today. Yeah, so today uh, the lineup is going to be quite amazing. Uh, there's, uh, there's quite a few products we want to review that's in store and uh, this is our motorcycle range. Um, so I know there are a lot of enthusiasts out there that uh, has no idea that we actually have these products in a range. So, so the amazing thing about our, our, our motorcycle range is we are the official um, Moto2 and Moto3 lubricant sponsor for MotoGP. And on that note, uh, we had this weekend with amazing motorcycle racing. And for those of you that watch the MotoGP, for the first time ever, South African won the MotoGP. So we just want to use this opportunity to congratulate Brad Brinder. Um, still uh, seen as a rookie, but the performance was unbelievable. Well done to you, well done to KTM, well done to the entire team and all your sponsors. It was such a proud moment. I had to wipe <laughs> the tears away <laughs> and uh, with the South African flag. And it's just amazing how sport, and doesn't matter what happens, uh, as soon as, as South Africa comes together when it comes to whether it's motorcycle, whether it's any other kind of sport, it just brings us together mm. as, as, as a country. As united, yes, yeah. So well done and um, congratulations. And if, if the MotoGP, if you're, if you're very fond of motorbikes and um, you're so excited about spring um, being with us in about a month's time Hopefully. and you're <laughs> kind of pulling out your motorbike and you're blowing all the dust off because you're getting ready to be able to go do those um, uh, cruises and head off to different places as we're going to be allowed to do cross-border um, travel. But... Um, even if you're not so fond of MotoGP, it's like the Oktoberfest. If you drink beer, if you don't drink beer, then it's, not, it's still something that's <laughs> on the bucket list because to be there between all the people, are un it's unbelievable. So we have an amazing competition. It's been running already for, quite, for, for, a, for a while, and it's going to end at the end of July 2021. So COVID-19 threw us off a little bit because the prize was... Um, for two people to go watch the final of the MotoGP in Valencia, yes, Spain. So that trip is worth 200,000 rand <laughs> behind the pits. Um, being able to be there with the Liquid Molly um, team, also being able to see the racing, meet some of the amazing riders. Mm. So that prize is still up for grabs. So just quickly to give you an idea of how it works. So you can buy any Liquid Molly product, whether it's our motorbike range, whether it's our bicycle range, whether it's our marine range, car care range, oils, doesn't matter. The requirements are that you have to have the Liquid Molly Advantage app. So if you have the app and you've downloaded it, that um, it's, it's for free to download with all its amazing tools. Every purchase that you make from now up until the end of July 2021, that is over a thousand rand. All you need to do is take a photo of that receipt and every single order that you place that's over a thousand rand gets you an entry into that draw. We'll do the, the competition will end at the end of July 2021 and we will announce the winners in the middle of August to get the planning all right, um, done for that final race in Valencia 2021. To be there and the official MotoGP, to be there, to see, be in the action and be able to have that as a bucket list tick off to say that you've been there, not watching it on TV, but actually rubbing shoulders with everybody around the track. Sure, what an amazing experience. And uh, I, I, think, I actually think that's uh, something to take, take advantage of. Uh, that's what an app is also called, Liquid Molly Advantage. Um, so it's such an amazing experience, just being able to have an entry, uh, a chance to be able to, to see this. Um, so yeah, uh, so for the viewers out there that uh, is not interested in going to MotoGP, as always, we also have an internal competition on every live uh, show. So uh, I know Manisha's quickly going to just touch on base on that and uh, what is up for grabs today. So um, for everybody that's, li that's, that's watching us live, um, keep your ears open for everything we've maybe already said or what we're going to say. And um, just before the end of the show, uh, we're going to ask a, a question and the first person to uh, answer the question in the comment line will get that 500 rounds to spend on the fan shop. And this shirt that I have on is one of the shirts that you can get on, on the fan shop. So there's a lot of things from jelly beans and even if you want products, so such a, a lot of fun stuff. So listen so that you can win that um, 500 red voucher <laughs> at the end. So let's get started in yes. the motorcycle range. I mean, Shelly, I mean, 
this is something that people have such a huge passion for, whether it's an enduro bike, whether it's a speed bike, whether it's a cruiser. I mean, our motorcycle range covers everything from your two wheels, your quads, your four wheels, your side-by-sides, your go-kart range. So it's such a wide variety that covers everything. And I know it's sometimes a little bit of a, of, of a unsurety that comes across when you have your bike, whether it's a Ducati or a BMW or whether it's a Yamaha or a Kawasaki. Am I using the right oil for all the different components of my, of my bike? Because I want it to last as long as possible. I want to make sure when I go out and I want to go and play with it on the open road or in the bush or wherever I want to go with it, that it is well looked after. Mm -hmm. And um, I know I'm gonna, it's going to be able to look after me for as long as possible. So what would be the easiest way for someone to make sure that when it comes to their oils and their fork oils and the gear oil if it's needed and the brake fluid, what would be your recommendation to use to be able to make sure that it doesn't matter what motorcycle you have, that you are using the right um, lubricants? Perfect, yeah. So there's an introduction on the Licky Mole Advantage app that I'm quickly just going to run through. And this is a, such an amazing tool, um, not only for the rewards program, but also for the oil guide. So if I'm quickly going to climb closer, just uh, bear with me. <laughs> cool, so that is the Licky Mole Advantage app. Good. So uh, you'll see this is the home page, and there's a rewards program. But uh, what I quickly want to run through today is how to use the oil guide. And this is a, such an amazing tool to use. So there are a few selections. If you actually want to add your, your ride or your, your, your uh, off-road or whatever bike you have, to your garage, uh, you'll see there's a selection at the bottom, and this is my garage. So this enables you to actually select this the, the, um, the motorcycle that you have, and you don't have to reselect it every time. So this is actually stored within your app. But what I quickly want to run through is the actual oil, oil guide and how to use this. So I'm going to have two or three selections of motorcycles quickly just want to run through and to, see, and to give you the, uh, the indication of what information is provided with this tool. So you'll see on the right top-hand corner, there's, there's my profile. And then if you scroll down a bit, you'll see there says oil guide. So on this oil guide, the first selection will be type. And on the type, you'll select motorcycle or motorbike. Cool. Then the next, um, quickly just going to select a BMW. So you'll see all the manufacturers are listed there. So we'll quickly select a BMW. And then with the model, we'll select a R series. So engine development from 1950 remain the same platform. And then on a specification, I know there are a lot of guys, enthusiasts out there that likes having a bit of adventure. So I'm going to select a GSS 1200. And uh, based on this selection, you can just go show wheel guide. And you can see the information that is provided with this powerful tool is everything from your engine, hydraulic system, shaft, transmission, even your uh, hydraulic brake system. So now if you go, say, on your shaft drive, which is also quite difficult information to also receive, um, you'll see it also gives you a capacity of 0 0.22 liters. And if you go view recommended products, you can see that is the recommended 75W90 gear oil from Licky Molly in the motorcycle range. So that is so simple to use. And uh, also, you can save this to your actual shop. So on the next selection, I quickly just want to run through another one just to give you a, a basic rundown. So that was now a adventure bike. Now I'm quickly just going to select a, a nice speed bike. Ducati, you can see on Ducati, so on the model itself, we'll select a 1199 Panigale. Uh, what amazing bike, I've actually seen this at one of the bike shows as well, and it's uh, truly amazing to see. So there you can see the 2060 model upwards on the wheel guide itself, also gives you all the information. And here you can actually see it says engine transmission, which means the, it's a wet clutch bike. So the transmission is housed in the same compartment as the engine. So if I select this, you'll see this says 3.7 liter capacity of oil that you need, as well as view recommended products, provides you with a recommended Licky Molly approved product for this compartment. So it's so simple to use. Now I know there's a lot of enthusiasts out there that actually um, are not on a road, they like off-road. Uh, so let's have a different selection for them as well. So we'll go back to mot motorbike, and then I'll just go a little bit down, say Husqvarna, and uh, I know a lot of guys like the FX Husqvarna's, and on this we take, so we we'll take the 450, the big boy. So on the 450 self, you'll see it also provides you with all the information that you need. And basic example, let's look at the front fork wheels, and you can see on the front fork wheels, um, this is the recommended 5W light, depending on your riding style and how often you actually service 
uh, the motorcycle as well. So there's a basic uh, rundown on how to use the oil guide and such a useful tool um, to make sure that the liability shifts to the Kimoli and you don't make decisions based on your own recommendation. Cool. Thank you so much, Sally, for that. So what we're trying to say is don't try to figure out what will to use and if it's going to be correct. Put the liability in Liqui Moly's hands. Use the oil guide. If there's any mistake on the oil guide, that becomes our responsibility. So whether it has to be a four-stroke or whether it has to be a two-stroke, um, if it's got a wet clutch, um, all our oils have got the highest API and JASA specification. So here's another tip. If you have a motorbike and it has a wet clutch, as what Shelly just um, mentioned, um, then on that Ducati, if it has a wet clutch, you want to make sure that the oil that you're going to use are not, is not going to make the clutch slip. Mm. If it has the JASA specifications, you know it's been tested for the Japanese and for the wet clutch, clutch applications. So make it easy. Just use the app. All the information, even the amount of liters that you would need, would be on there. The technical data sheet, will be able, you'll be able to access it exactly the same time. So um, it's so simple to use without having to really worry about not having the right application. So as you've seen just now with, with Shelly showing us um, on the app how easy it is, everything from your brake fluid, if your motorbike needs to have antifreeze, I mean, I know with um, the Roof of Africa, what, that's a very popular product in our range is the antifreeze that people use concentrated so that um, um, it, it absolutely has um, no boiling point. I mean, a very high boiling point, I mean, because there's no water. So your bike is always protected on the inside and we make it easy by the guidance on, on the app. So from the oil point of view, I think there's all the variety of different products. If you're not sure, always we have our technical support, um, Tim Barney, Shelly, and our entire team. So if you're not sure, if you can't find your bike on the oil guides, just go onto the technical support and we'll make sure that we can help you when it comes to the lubricants on the inside of the bike. So the next thing we want to cover a little bit is on the maintenance. So on the inside of the bike and everything else is going to be taken care of on the oil guide um, with what oils to use. But you also want to arrive at the breakfast run and making sure that everything that's on the motorbike from your helmet to your suit or your leathers <laughs> are in great condition. And we have an entire range to also do that. So we're going to just touch on a couple of them. Um, that's some of them are very unique and some you can use in more than and, and, uh, 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 a lot of different places. So Shelly is going to take the first very, very important protective side when it comes to a motorcycle and that's the helmet. So I know anything that has material in at any point, it normally gets quite sweaty, uh, the, uh, especially when it's, you're going to go be in Sabi or somewhere where the temperatures are quite high. Um, and it's not something that you're going to take your high pressure hose and try to rinse it all <laughs> off because you're going to rip all the material apart. So, um, Shelly, how would we clean this helmet with the Liqui Moly range? Yeah, Mel, thank you so much. So, uh, as you mentioned, it's always nice to look after your bike, but when it comes to riding, uh, the equipment you have to take care of, because uh, I can tell you now, if I wear this helmet, it's, uh, there's such a stench in there that sometimes it's so difficult to get rid of. Um, so that's the first important thing to look at. So I'm quickly just going to show you on this basic helmet. Uh, you can see it's been used quite often. Uh, let me just remove this visor here for us. Easy like that. So it needs a bit of a clean. <laughs> yes, so I've left it like this on purposely, quickly just to show you. Uh, so the interior, you can see, I don't know if you can smell that, but it's, a, it's, a, it's quite I'll bad. Smell from the <laughs> it is quite bad, um, but uh, ultimately you want to be able to clean the inside uh, because especially if you go for out ride, this is the first thing you smell. And uh, ultimately it also has some sensors in your brain as well, so should I ride or not? <laughs> Perfect. So the product that uh, was developed by Licky Molly is called Licky Molly Helmet Interior Cleaner. Such an amazing product. Um, it, uh, it's a product that creates foam. So if I actually just want to show you this. Take it off. So just make sure you shake it nicely. And then if I can apply it here for you, you can see it creates like a, a foam layer. Just like that. So what happens with the foam is it's got such an amazing scent, but also the foam crystallizes to lift the dirt and extract all the, uh, the odor inside this helmet as well. So if there's any sweat uh, that's left behind, it will be able to remove this. So uh, recommendation is to always re remove your visor uh, so you don't uh, also get the dirt dirty. Uh, but uh, as soon as you start just start cleaning the, the foam, the, the material inside, and what you can do is you can just rub it off nicely with a cloth. And uh, it's quite amazing. You can s I can really see a difference um, if I just go in closer. So uh, such a wonderful product, and uh, I recommend this for all the guys having helmets, especially if you do off-road and a bit sweaty, you know, a bit more physical. Yeah, and, and, and you want to make sure that your helmet lasts. I mean, this is, it's, it's, it's quite an expensive um, accessory, 
and if you're going to put a lot of water in it and that does not get dried up properly mm. and that's going to get like a funny smell that's going to create an issue so now you can spray it you know it's a dry foam cleaner it pulls out all that bad odor but i already smell it's totally different it's got this very nice citrus kind of um, smell so it's much better to put your helmet on no it's not wet it doesn't have that miff smell in it because there was a lot of water and it's got a nice fresh so you're ready to ride all um, or clean and fresh um, to be able to enjoy nature or wherever you're going so uh, st staying on the helmet um, because we moved the visor we also have a visor cleaner and i know Marcus is just going to show you us um, the comparison of this so let me remove this so there's our visor okay so i'm gonna so so our visor cleaner, the Liquid Molly visor cleaner, comes in a small little bottle like this that you would have. So making sure that you can clean your visor um, when you've come back from a, from a nice cruise or um, uh, if you've been on a enduro in the bush, that you can clean it nicely. And um, you would spray it on. So if I could just use that. So, and on the inside as well. That is, we're going to take the tip from, from there for us. Perfect. So on the visor cleaner itself, you can see it's a cleaning product. So it removes any insects and stains that's on the visor itself. But also, ultimately, it helps with the actual uh, fogging. So it's got an anti-fogging property inside this product. <laughs> you have sensitive saying. <laughs> fogging. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's one of the biggest, the biggest aspects, especially when you go out riding. It's quite early in the morning. And uh, yeah, so I know I'm also going to show you a visual demonstration on that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is my ultimate with the, when it comes to this product. So I think um, the, the biggest problem is you going out with an outright so you can see around you. You're in the open air, you're enjoying nature. So if it all gets all fogged <laughs> up, um, it doesn't help that much because the guy in front of you is in danger and you can't see anything yeah. around you. So I know I tried to show this on a previous Malin's Cali, so now I put a little bit of glass actually inside the um, fridge. So just want to, okay, it's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. So <laughs> just using a little bit of the visor cleaner to, let's do, something it's not a word necessarily so just to be hopefully you're gonna be able to see this <sighs> so you see <sighs> I hope you can see it's gonna come up the stairs so it just shows you that there's gonna be no fog around it so by just showing you this again on your visor great so you can do some heavy breathing inside your own dome but also great for the mirrors at home in the shower, and then also great for your goggles, any other glasses that you might be wearing. Now with our mask on with COVID-19, mm. you always have a little bit of heavy breathing under that. <laughs> so by putting the, uh, the visor cleaner on, you're going to avoid that fogging up. Um, but another amazing thing about the visor cleaner is that this you can now nicely use at home to clean the visor, your glasses, everything else. But now you want to travel. Now, I mean, you have a couple of things that you're taking with you, and um, to always have a lot of different bottles is not ideal. So, what Liquid Molly has come out with is a product that I absolutely love and always take it with me. And it's sort of some in, in the, everywhere in my car and everywhere in, my, in, in every single possible bag, and that's the Visor Cleaner cloth, and it's a wet and dry. So, the nice thing, I just want to. <laughs> it didn't work so well. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> okay, so it's got two packets, and on the one side, it's got the dry, and on the other side, the, 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 wet. the wet. So it is already been drenched with the visor cleaner, so now you can take your visor, you can quickly clean it quite nice, smell that. Mm. Oh. And um, what I like to do, and this is just a tip, when I clean, if I want to clean something, I make sure that I have my cell phone close by, or even if you're now on your motorbike and the front screen, because this is uh, it's been tested for all sensitive screens, um, and because it is for the visor, so now you can be in and quickly clean a couple of items, and then after you've cleaned it, you also have the dry cloth to be able to clean it up, um, and to then also dry your visor. So, so, so simple, your wet, and your dry in the same sachet that weighs absolutely nothing, easy to carry in your back, underneath your seat, or even in your jacket, and makes life so much easier so that you can really enjoy the ride by being able to see everything. So that's the visor wipes, um, and they are um, available individually in the different packets. So from the visor wipes, um, the visor cleaner, the helmet cleaner, there's a couple of other products as well, just to be able to make sure that you can look after your bike. And when you want to make sure that your bike mm. shines, everybody is in awe when they see what your Harley Davidson, your Ducati, whatever your bike looks like. 
So we also have this, the gloss spray wax. That's to do the detailing afterwards. Make sure if you have a little bit of the tar on it that you can take that off or maybe it, it didn't come off while you washed it. Um, if you just put that shine on it, it also is going to avoid the dust falling on it. But the nice thing about this is that it's got um, a, a nanotechnology. And what that means is if you've got the dust on your motorcycle, let's say you haven't been out riding on it, but you see there's a little bit of dust and you want to take the dust off. If you're going to take a normal cloth and you're going to wipe it, it's going scratch to it. scratch it. Mm. What's nice about the um, gloss spray wax, because of the nanotechnology, it actually covers the dust molecule and makes sure that it cannot scratch the surface, which is then ideal to make sure that your that last bit of detailing on the motorbike um, makes it really look shine and you can be proud to go out for that first ride. Yeah, and that's a nice thing about this product, Mel, because uh, a lot of times, uh, like I mentioned, you wash a bike, it stands for quite some time, and uh, as soon as you take it out, it's covered in dust. Um, so recommended always use the motorcycle cleaner, and then once you're done, you can use this uh, gloss spray wax. And it also has a UV protection. So for those guys who want to look after the paint of the bike, uh, because most of the bikes, uh, it's not only speed bikes, but also the classics uh, can be quite expensive. So uh, such a wonderful product and uh, also a superhero that I recommend. Yeah, and even if you have um, some sections of the helmet, you can actually then polish it and then make sure that it looks and sparkles quite nicely with the visor that's now cleaned as well with the visor cleaner. And you've got your outfit on, whether it's your leather jacket, whether you're on Cuts. a speed bike yeah. and you're going to go around the track. We also even have the leather care. So you can do your entire outfit, your leather jacket, making sure that it's um, well taken care of. It's not going to crack. Also has UV protect protection in it. We'll also make sure that it is um, uh, just rejuvenates the leather. The leather soft, yeah. You can also can then use it if your motorbike, let's say your Holly Davidson has a leather seat, um, to make sure that that also can last as long as possible. Mm. So, Shelly, the next group of products that we're just going to touch on that um, is in our motorcycle range is our additives. Do you want to start with that? Because I think we've Liquid Molly actually started as an additive company, and people are always a little bit anxious when it comes to additives because I think, okay, does it really work? And we've touched that when we said, do additives really work? And it was really, is it, is, and we showed before and after and why you would use it. But I know we have some additives within our uh, motorcycle range as well. And um, let's touch on a couple of them. Perfect, Mel. So I know in the previous uh, episodes, we spoke about hibernation. And uh, as a bike is standing in storage, uh, you want to ensure that the fuel is protected uh, so it doesn't start clogging up in a fuel system and uh, uh, at the later stage develop a few products. So this is a product that we already reviewed and we're not going to touch too much on this. So this is more of the maintenance hibernation section. Then uh, going forward, now it becomes exciting because uh, we have a, a range of few speed additives. So um, these are performance-based additives. So Shelly, can I recommend, if, if you're watching this and you really want to make sure and find out about the, the, the additives within the motorcycle range, like the hibernation um, additive. So if you have now stored your bike and you are getting it ready to go out on a cruise now that it's getting warmer um, and you haven't put anything in the fuel to be able to make sure that it's protected because fuel oxidates. Mm. So it has an aggressive effect then on the motorcycle itself. So to prevent that in the future, that is a product that you can use. But uh, we would recommend that you just go back, I think it was episode one or two, that's focused yeah. on the hibernation products. And those are all the products that you would use for your motorbike if they are stored away. And if you then also go look at the additive range, you will see some products like our engine flush um, and our radiator flush. All of those products are also available within the motorcycle range. But what's great is, in the motorcycle range, it takes in consideration if there's a wet clutch. So if you read the, the application on the technical data sheet, you know the percentage that you add to your oil or to your radiator or to whatever the case might be, it's going to be the right percentage to make sure that still your wet clutch is going to work, there's no um, uh, effect on it, and it's so easy to use and also in packaging that's um, in the size that is applicable to motorcycles. So perfect, so uh, on the fuel additives, we'll quickly co uh, and cover the oil additives now. But on the oil fuel additives, the very basic entry level is the bike additive. So this bike additive is such an amazing product because as we mentioned, it's developed for four stroke and two stroke. But ultimately this product itself, um, it is a product that's uh, for intense cleaning. So whether you run it through a fuel system, it mixes itself with the fuel and uh, it will ensure that the injectors or carburetor, whichever you have in the bike, uh, will be actually protected from corrosion as well as increase the performance on the, uh, seat, the octane of the fuel self. So such an amazing product and so easy to use. So uh, I know most bikes, uh, the fuel capacity is 10 li uh, 20 liters. So this is uh, ideal uh, formulated for that. 
So Sally, can you quickly tell me, I know with motorbikes and with us doing a lot of technical support to our racing teams and a lot of our partners within the motorcycle industry, the one thing we see when we do oil analysis is a lot of fuel dilution. Yes. And would a regular cleaning of the fueling system um, actually help to avoid that fuel dilution and why would that fuel dilution be so common um, within the motor motorcycle um, category? Yeah, so fuel dilution has many traces and it's very, it's very dominant, especially when it comes to racing, um, as Mel mentioned. So the recommend the recommended is always using engine flush. So engine flush firstly to release the piston, uh, the, the piston rings to ensure when they are seized up with deposits or with a carbonization, we can actually release those piston rings to ensure that there's no blow-by in the engine. Now, ultimately, that is on the oil side, so to make sure the oil compartment is cleaned out and you have the sufficient oil um, with the correct specification for the development. Okay, so this we will add with the old oil, idle it a little bit, um, a 10 minute, and then drain to make sure so that easy. all those deposits are So out. easy. But now when it comes to the fuel side, this is a bit more complex. Um, as you know, the fuel, there's a lot of things happening with the actual calorific value of the fuel, also the flammability of it. So a recommendation is always to ensure that your fuel system is cleaned thoroughly to ensure that we can remove the amount of uh, the, um, the f fuel dilution trace in the, in the oil um, sample analysis as well. So how, how often would I need to use this? So, so recommended is with every race. Uh, because it all depends on how much fuel you actually put into the tank. I know a lot of guys, on a, if it's a motorcycle, they do 20 liters, but they don't use all the 20 liters. So uh, recommended is to have at least for every race to just ensure the fuel system is cleaned. Um, however, uh, we have a different product that's a bit more effective. So we could touch on that as well. I don't race and I have my scooter <laughs> <laughs> or my cruise bike yes. or my Harley Davidson. How often would I then use this? Every 2,000 kilometers? Yeah, yeah, so every 2,000 kilometers is recommended on this product for the normal guys who do not just race. Um, but it's such an amazing product just to clean the system and ensure it, we can restore the, the engine um, cleanliness um, as well as the, the performance of the engine itself. So Sally, I don't know, over the weekend we saw Brad really performing unbelievably, all getting goosebumps, and um, then everybody goes out with their motorbikes <laughs> and want to put it <laughs> full throttle. And um, on our roads, that's not always possible. So I know the nice thing about a motorbike, even if you don't have like the Autobahn in, in, uh, in Germany and places like in Isle of Man where you really can get the top speed of your motorcycle, um, the, the fun part is to be able to have that um, ac acceleration thrill, and that yeah. instant thrill when you um, open the throttle. So I know we have a couple of products that, that can um, just put that extra excitement <laughs> in them. So if we can just share some of our tips that we have for that adrenaline junkie that's out there. Perfect, so this is called the speed additive. You can see the speed additive. It looks very similar to the, the fuel additive. However, the speed additive is quite different when it comes to the formulation itself. So uh, what an amazing product. And I know in MotoGP, uh, I'm sure a few guys use it there as well, especially around the corners, uh, as Mel, Mel mentioned, acceleration and throttle response is quite amazing with this product. Um, as the product, uh, we all know it, uh, well, not all of us, but we know that uh, the fuel self, it atomizes with this product uh, to ensure that the combustibility of the, of the uh, combustion chamber, um, the flame point is much higher. So it helps with the actual kick the actual kick, but anything that has speed on it <laughs> gets me quite excited. So what you're saying is now, um, just with those small mo molecules, that acceleration when you open up the throttle is actually just what a m much more of an impact. Yes, yes, yes. But I also know that there is one of the products that even have a higher kick than what our speed additive has. So uh, please don't use this in a wrong way, because I know there is a, <laughs> a lockdown on uh, alcohol consumption. So it says shooter, but please, uh, it's not recommended to drink this. Um, it's meant for your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, every single time we have a show and people see this, it's not always because it's, I mean, I think if there's uh, restrictions on alcohol and anything that has, whether it's hand sanitizer, it says 90% alcohol or something, people go get carried away. So this does say shooter, but it doesn't have any alcohol or it's not for human consumption, it's for motorcycle consumption. So is that little bit of a treat for the for the for the motorcycle <laughs> to give it a little bit of, of, an, of an impact so Sally what's the difference between the two Why, when will you use the speed additive and when will you use the shooter what's the difference so ultimately it depends on the race um, if you are just doing a, a drag race uh, with a bike uh, I would recommend using the speed additive well the shooter uh, because this is concentrated as well so it's all quite convenient this is only sufficient for 10 liters um, however if you have a, a, a long endurance race I would suggest rather use the speed additive the bigger one um, as this is for 20 liters and will uh, will maintain much stronger through the race. 
Um, yeah, so it all depends on application, but I know there's a lot of guys that uh, I just bought my bike now. I've got a few friends quickly when I want to ride out, and uh, I just want to show them the performance of my bike. So uh, suggest and look at a shooter additive, and uh, based on these results, you can also always uh, uh, actually go for the bigger one. Okay, so, so I have a, um, a theory always, and I tell you, because if, if I can explain to you how a banana or an apple or anything tastes, but unless you put it in your mouth, you're not going to know. No. So if you really want to know what this product does, um, try it, add it to your fuel tank, as you can see. But the way that I also always explain to the, the difference between the two is this would be like whiskey with sparkling water, mm -hmm. and this will be tequila. <gasps> So this one is much stronger, <laughs> much punchier, um, much more concentrated. So it just gives you a little bit of a difference between the impact of these two um, speed uh, performance additives. Okay, Shelly, so some of the additives, I mean, there's, uh, if you visit our website and you have some of the other products and you have any questions, um, you just let us know. Um, the, the, the next thing on a motorbike that we also get a lot of people that ask different questions of what to use when is when it comes to the chain. So motor, motorcycle chain, I mean, we have two uh, uh, different applications. First of all, we know if you have done a ride, the first important thing is to be able to make sure that you clean all the um, contaminants off the chain. Mm -hmm. And for that, we have the chain cleaner. So we know in a lot of our other products, whether it's the bicycle range, we have a chain cleaner. When it comes to a workshop conditions, we have also uh, the, some of the like-minded products, which is your brake and part cleaner. Um, but the chain cleaner for the motorcycle range, also what's great about it, I'm going to aim it at Richard <laughs> behind <laughs> the camera, uh, very high force, um, evaporates very quickly. So if you're cleaning your chain, it actually pushes all the dirt of every single spot so that you know your chain is properly cleaned. There's no residue that stays behind. And this is also the product that we've mentioned so many times that if you get a little bit of greasiness on your clothing, you spray it on, throw it in the washing machine, and it's going to take that oiliness out without affecting anything, any of the color. So really safe and amazing product to use. You degrease that chain before you go into actually lube it. Uh, then we have two lubricants. Um, so on the one side, we have our fully synthetic. So the fully synthetic lube, um, Shelly, if I'm just going to get my plate here at the bottom. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our uh, chain lube, fully synthetic. You'll see this is an ester-based product, um, which helps with the anti-fling. So I know a lot of times the guys go on an art ride and say, oh, this, this lube is amazing because it lubricates, but it has an extra fling to it. And uh, it's not always preferred uh, depending on the condition or the outright you have. So uh, what amazing product. I know off-road, the guys love this product uh, because of the tackiness of the, the lube itself. Um, so such an amazing product. And I quickly want to show you how easy it is. So there you can see it runs a bit, but it's quite tacky. If I go like this. You can see the stickiness to it. So that's quite an amazing property of this lube self. And it has so much benefits uh, depending on a condition. So you, you, if it's a water conditions or moist conditions, um, it's such amazing protection on the chain self to ensure that the, the Owen experience cannot be damaged. So it's waterproof. It's fully synthetic. Um, it's got very, very high creeping property. So it's going to make sure that everything, every single part of the chain is properly lubricated. And the tip we always have is, if you are going to get onto your bike and then spray and go, the flinging mm -hmm. process is definitely going to be there. But we always recommend clean your chain, uh, make sure that it's, it's nice and dry, and then apply the, ap um, the, the, the loop so that you can make sure it can uh, creep into every single place, uh, make sure it can protect the chain, and it actually is going to have then less fling off um, because it has had an, an opportunity to be able to um, uh, lose its properties of creeping and actually just protect the chain. So that's the more the fully synthetic. And then you have our waxy white um, uh, lube. So it all depends. I know sometimes I think it's just enduro bikes, other times it's just speed bikes. Mm. Depends on, on the kind of bike for what the preference is for someone with what lube they want to use on their chain. But I've also realized that that's not the truth. Mm. People have different preferences uh, on different bikes. So try both, see which one you prefer on what kind of outings. Um, but to give you now an idea, so it's called, the it's white, so the color is there, so you're going to see the, the application on your, I don't know if, if you want me to lift it uh, again. I can just get the thing zipped because I sprayed a lot. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's a, it's a white application, so you're going to see where it is on the chain. It also becomes quite nice and waxy, so it protects that chain. So again, 
Um, don't put it on just before you want to go right. Do it while you're cleaning your bike after a ride so it's ready for the next um, uh, um, trip. And then an unbelievable part of this spray that I absolutely love. If I have to take this chain loop in my carry bag, carry bag oh. or wherever on Some the bike, nightmare. I mean, the bike only has that amount yeah, of space yeah. and you have all the things that you want to take along. To take this can along is going to be really ridiculous. <laughs> so to make sure that you have some chain loop with you, um, when you purchase this 400 mil, you actually get your 50 mil for free. So at any of our partners, uh, whether it's uh, AMP or whether any of our other motorcycle um, uh, retail stores, you get the 50 mil with the 400 mil. Now here's the amazing and exciting part. When the 50 mil is empty, the bottle has been designed that you take off this little <laughs> Let me try on this one. Yeah. Finish. Okay, wait, wait, don't worry. <laughs> so you take off the big one. <laughs> Maybe a bit stronger when you take it the other way around. And it's been designed that if the 50 mil is empty and you connect the two of them, the two of them like on Valentine's Day, then the, the 400 mil will fill up the 50 mil. So it's been designed like that. So all you now have to do is once the 50 mil is empty, you just refill it, refill it and it's ready to go. And for you, a little small bottle to keep with you and you always have lube without having to take the 400 mil. So it's been designed like that, that the 400 mil can fill up the 50 mil. How awesome is that? Um, so also all these little small details that Liquid Molly always think of, which is really <laughs> amazing. So now you can make sure that you always have a lube with you by just filling up your 50 mil. So we have the white um, waxy lube, we have the fully synthetic lube um, and we have products to be, to be able to clean your, your entire motorbike, not just your chain. So some of the other cleaners we have, Shelly, from the bike itself, the part that we've missed is the air filter and, and the out, uh, uh, exterior of the bike itself. What do we use there in the Liquid Molly range? Perfect. So ultimately, first, before you, you do any lubrication or any protection sort, uh, we recommend using this. Is, this is called the foam filter cleaner. I don't know if you can see there. So what amazing products, not only because of the packaging, but also the concentration of it, um, because it's quite strong to be able to clean its filters. I know a lot of guys, uh, they have off-road, so the, uh, is the XCCC, and uh, what they do is that those foam filters become so dusty that there's no oxygen actually going through the air filter for the engine to breathe. And uh, what amazing product to remove that oil film that they, prior, uh, they previously put on the, the air filters. So uh, how what you do this is uh, you just measure out the concentration based on recommendations at the back. Um, you have this inner bath and you just quickly rinse out your air filter to ensure that uh, all the lubrication, like I mentioned, and protectors you, you previously used can be removed. Um, once you're done, there are two solutions that Licky Molly offers. So the one is the foam filter oil. We have a spray solution and uh, also as well as the oil that you submerge the, the, foam, the foam filter inside the oil self so you can visually see the blue attraction and see that you covered the entire foam filter uh, to ensure that there's no dust uh, ingestion in, in, inside the engine. So I normally recommend if we, if we look at our racing teams, I always say that they should use the oil and uh, for someone that doesn't, that not, that they don't use their bike that regular, not in such dusty areas, then the air filter um, oil spray would be fine. Um, and so glad Liquid Molly a couple of years ago also changed the air filter, the oil, because it didn't have a color before. Mm. Now it is blue, so you can actually make sure that your filter is fully um, protected with, with all the um, oil. So that also makes it quite um, uh, feel, makes you feel quite safe to know that your air, entire air filter has been looked after and taken care of. Right, so air filter wise, cleaned, lubed, everything else on your motorbike from the oils, the fork oils, the cleaners. From your chain, your additives, if you really want to put full throttle, we have some products to add some extra um, um, oomph, oomph uh, with, <laughs> a, with a shooter. So we have a complete range to make sure that your motorbike is taken care of from the back to the front, from your accessories, so that you can make sure that your bike is going to take care of you as long as what you're going to take care of it. So it's, it's, it's a passion. It is somewhere that you can actually escape. Um, be with the with uh, out in, in, in nature um, and um, it's so important to make sure that you don't just take care of your bike on the outside but that the inside and the engine and every single aspect where the fuel touches is also taken care of because both sides are going to ensure that your motorbike is going to last as long as possible so just um, quickly on that question for the 500 rand voucher um, so the first person to answer in the comment section what if you the first person to explain in the comment section, what do you need to do 
to go into the entries for the MotoGP competition. Mm, it's a really good question. So Fulo is also going to put the link on our uh, on the comment section so that you can have the link on our website where you can go and see all the details of the competition itself. But the first person to tell us exactly what you need to do to to enter into to be entered into that competition um, would win is going to win that that 500 rand voucher to, to spend on our online store. So um, I hope um, you've learned a lot on the motorbike range, Shelley from. Um, uh, overall point of view, I mean, there's so many different things when I look at our motorcycle stores, if I look at our uh, motorcycle partners, um, using our jet clean uh, machine to clean um, some of their um, clients' motorcycles, uh, cooling systems, yeah, so. that we've had so many amazing results and testimonials when it comes to the motorcycle side. And I always have peace of mind knowing that being official lubricant sponsor for Motor 2, Motor 3, the products are tested under... Mm totally intense conditions. So it's always making sure that we are on the top of our game with new products, making sure if there's some shortage or something that lacks, that that is introduced into the range. Always new additions and um, always feedback from the team to be able to make sure where can we improve, where are they happy, and um, making sure that when it comes to research and development, mm. we have Motor 2, Motor 3 making sure that we're on top of our game. And that is a lovely thing about this brand, Mel. Uh, Licky Valley in general, uh, is the brand is not just the oil company. Um, a lot of guys have a misconception. So just reviewing these products, you'll see that all of these products are, are problem solvers and solution driven uh, because of those conditions that the bikes go through. So we identify those problems and uh, R&D uh, invest a lot of money to make sure that we, we can develop and, and assist these guys in dealing with these conditions. So they say life is a highway. Make sure your motorcycle will be able to have, make sure that you can ride it all night long. <laughs> <laughs> so um, take care of your motorbike. Thank you for joining us for Melly and Shelly. And have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.